I think I'm losing the legs. Uh oh. I got the legs. I it just I got a nice big head there, and so it's going to be more. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, not not you, but in my painting, you know. Okay. okay so I, you kind of sense that. Look at I'm kind of dappling around here. Yeah. Uh, the dappler radar uh, right. with this brush is kind of small, as you can see. I'm, it's kind of like doing nothing. I'm kind of doing nothing. Sometimes it's okay to do nothing, but frankly, uh, you'd be better off with a bigger brush, John. Uh, and I need uh, to reload, actually. I need to reload a, uh, reload uh, uh, a, a mid-flight reload, and it tends to happen in the painting process that you need to reload. It's frustrating, actually, frankly, yeah. particularly when you're in the middle of, 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 of just of your some flying. Sort of, yeah, and then you got to stop. You got to stop but and land and it's not the end of the world. Something. Just, just know that that is. Uh, it's sort of like going to the bathroom. No, we got to <laughs> do it now. You just gotta have to do it. It's okay. like you have to clean. You know, I'm so tired of dusting. I'm done with dust. But you got to dust. Yeah. Uh, well, I, it, it doesn't go anywhere. I, I dust a lot. Uh, <laughs> at, at home, I have a duster and really, You're yeah, big, big duster and. Uh, a feather duster, and I wear like a little bunny outfit. Ooh! To uh, wow! Oh, I shouldn't tell you all this stuff. It's quite. Uh, it's a little more. Uh, uh, That's a lot of information. A little more information. For me. Uh, That's creating get... a visual that I didn't okay. want. Well, I was going with that. It, it really is not the case. I just sort of made that up. Okay, so we're going to start doing a little. Oh, no, it's true. <laughs> drawing some of the features here. Okay. Refill. We're refilling, guys. Let's get some of this yellow ochre. By the way, this is some crappy paint. And, uh, and we could talk about student grade paint versus professional grade paint. And in this case, this is some student grade paint. Ugh. And you can see that it's just, a, it's no fun to work with. And yet, sometimes you got to take a chance because, uh, well, <laughs> most likely uh, you have to be economical about the operation uh, in, in, in art making. At times, uh, most of us tend to have to go that route. And so we, we do take chances. And uh, in this case, I took a chance and I lost. Because take a chance, take a chance, take, take a, chance, a chance. Take a chance on me. No. Take a chance on this paint. And uh, it really sucks. This, uh, <laughs> and, and, and ultimately, you've got to use a lot of it. You've got to use a lot of this yellow ochre. Okay. Uh, and whereas if you had more professional grade yellow ochre, you don't have to use as much. Okay, let's go ahead and add some more uh, blue. Now, this blue is a little better, and this is the cheap student grade blue. Okay. Uh, so, do we want to mention brands, or we don't want to maybe alienate a uh, You know, sponsor? no, we don't want to. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's universal. A student grade paint is going to be lame be worse. versus a professional grade paint. Now, yeah. there's different variations uh, from various paint companies uh, and, and, and that, but uh, we could talk about that if you'd like. Yeah. Um, but, um, but I find that uh, you're, you're going to be better off with a professional... Uh, or artist grade is a is that or is is that the right word artist grade or? artist grade yeah no yeah professional grade professional because then a lot of these companies they make student grade or what they call sketching grade well see now here's a good example I have some gambling uh, phalo blue and I find this to be not so bad actually yeah uh, and, and and but but gambling is a good paint company I know so they make their professional grade paint is actually a uh, uh, industry uh, high mark. Yeah. Hallmark. Yeah. And people like it. I never buy it. It's too expensive. Uh, but well. uh, I did buy this, and uh, I'm relatively uh, uh, fine with it. It seems to it seems to do the job. It's a phthalo blue. It's a pretty dangerous color, uh, meaning that it, it really gets over everything. Uh, it just jumps uh, jumps jumps the paint. Oh, I know. It'll uh, infect your palette with phthalo it's blue itis. It's infectious. Okay, so let's. Uh, Let's do a little wipe away. Okay. Let's do a little, I'm going to do a little wipe away here. Okay. We're coming down to the top of the hour here. Oh, my the hour. 15 minutes left. We can do it, Carmen. We can do it. I'm counting on you. Now, do you have another poem, or we don't want to get you on the spot here? Do fuzzy. Fuzzy, wuzzy, was a bear? <laughs> sure. Sure, sure. On my CD. All right. Okay. Oh, well, well you, you want definitely got to tell CD? us about your CD now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What? Yeah. CD. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. It's called La Poeta con Rock. Excellent. La Poeta con Rock. Rock, and it's on CDBaby.com. CDBaby. CDBaby.com, CDBaby. CDBaby. everybody. CDBaby.com. Go there and oh, check, it check it out. That sounds like an opportunity to have some fun on the Internet. <laughs> yes, you can, and you can also go to iTunes and find the individual songs. Okay. Okay, and also I'm sure that uh, we will have that her name and, and, and the link to that or, or uh, some other... Uh, uh, on this video, 
Uh, on replay. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's much better with the music. All right, Carmen. Okay. Fuzzy little dust balls on the floor. Fuzzy little dust balls on the floor. My dreams seep each night and hover between the planks. Arrest my breath as I close my eyes and inhabit my mind. Transcending space, I rise to the canopy. Observe the roots of the trees, the obscured course of trunks below. But the path to the sky is clear as a sunbeam's flight over broccoli-covered plains of green, where the meadow is divided with a brook between the brook and the mountain. There I sip the clear elixir as I sip a cleanness unfamiliar to the future. Rest upon a cushion of grass over cool soil, and I exhale, ah, releasing the pollutants. Deadlines, conflicts, deaths, lovers unmet that ebb in circles meshing little twiny mesh that fall between my pillow, that to I'm sorry, fall beneath my pillow into fuzzy little dust balls on the floor. <coughs> there, so I sweep beneath my bed. Fuzzy little dust balls on the floor. Now they're going to have paint on them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, With all our you. painting all over the place. Yeah. That is my, so I got fuzzy dust balls pasta. like crazy. <laughs> paint splattered. Yeah. Well, that maybe maybe helps to keep the dust balls down. <laughs> yes. Well, and they, and they like paint. I think they like paint. They would, you know, the dust balls. You know, they are they're they're, they're the, the the dust ball union is uh, quite upset. Uh, you know that uh, they don't get to paint and they don't have a, a recreation center. And I think that we should all, you know, provide the dust balls a rec center uh, at all our houses. Yeah. You know, and, I, and I'm, I'm strongly committed to that. And uh, well, if I anyone would like to uh, sign up for our petition, uh, we will be uh, going door to door. I've, I have been providing a lot of free dust, dust ball housing um, over the years as I've just been a resident here in L.A. Free dust, free ball, dust ball housing. housing. Yeah. Um, I like to create good, healthy environments for dust balls to, you know, uh, educate themselves. So they can live in their own world. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> Sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my uh, 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 phthalo green is, again, it's a dangerous color, kind of like the phthalo blue. Phthalo, it's just the name. Just remember, it's a dangerous, elusive, it's like a monster. It's a, it's a villain. It's a villain in the paint industry. I like uh, to think of it almost as like a blue virus that takes over your palate and yes. just infects everything with but as with long as you know, as long as you know what you're up against, you can take precautions. Right. And so I'm I'm knocking it down with a lot of white and maybe some yellow ochre or a something little, else. A preemptive to, strike to kind of kind of knock it back down and 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 kick it back down, kick it back down a notch. Yeah. Bam. You got to show it who's boss a little exactly. bit. Exactly. Okay. Uh, and then it, you can come back and Let's it'll take treat a look you with a little more. Let's see stuff. how that's looking. Okay. It's uh you know it's 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 a little uh, disjointed, but that's oh, okay. I know. Oh boy. Disjointed. I don't know. Uh, and what so is my nose. I'm gonna have to what? move my nose over here. Sorry. What is going? on? All right, excuse me, but John, uh, your your painting definitely has a lot of um, a lot of zippity doo dah. Zippity doo dah. Well, that's because we started with a big brush and we just plopped it down. Yeah. Now and my now, painting is lacking a little bit of. Well, that. Uh, just get get some big fat brush going on there. Just pop it down. Boom. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Now uh, I got to get back. I got to get some. Now, see, I'm in the choke phase now Choking. with painting. See, I had all the fun with the blocking in, and and ideally, I should just stay in the block in phase. And actually, because of time constraints, uh -huh. uh, I kind of have to. Yeah. I kind of have to. But but uh, nevertheless, uh, we we I, I'm going to add some little details here, okay. which could either make or break. Yeah. Breaker Morant. But it's not the end of the world if I fail. I know that. Breaker, breaker. I know it's okay. Yeah. So I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to work on some lights on her face to try to give a little, uh, you know, work. The, oh, too much red. That's okay. And it's okay if it doesn't work out. We're just going to try to 
Boom. I know. And boom, then, but that, that is the thing, especially when you're doing live painting. And sometimes I, you know, I'll do live painting stuff at different art events and what have you. And, and uh, there, there, there's the whole, there's the, there is that entire that you're just going to bomb factor. You know, it's fun. Um, I, I, and, and because we, it's it's well, not when we like go a flight plan with the FAA. You don't necessarily know where you're going to land. Exactly, but that's a, that's exactly what we do when we go outside painting. It's yeah. the same thing. Is that there is a failure uh, in the midst. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes when you're outside, there are gorillas. 